That's what we're looking for. What I got for y'all today, huh? What I got for y'all today? Two in the ground, two in the ten, one like a guard, or one on myself. Pass up, uh, fuck on my pawn, I get the ten, 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 ten. Rolls are on black, 439, heard it before. You pretty cute, but to the end of my life, I'm the best. My new life, not the best, yeah, I'm the best, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a vibe. What is that? Late night antics. And that's a fact. What is that? I'm just kicking game, I got the rest of the recipe. Lift your hands, that's what God said the remedy. Uh -huh. It's real blood that's getting shot on the flip side. And Jesse wanna act like it's empire. Wow. I ain't wearing Gucci, but I'm Gucci though. Uh -huh. I got the angel in on me. Yeah, Drip Mafia, what's going on? Oh, what's up, baby? Boy, got the drip, and I'm here back with another video. How y'all doing today, man? How y'all living? But hold on, pause. Before we even jump into this video, man, if y'all thought my dancing was good, he needs some milk. Or if you laughed about how bad it was, smash that like button, big fat subscriber for you new. We on the road to a thousand subs at a thousand subs. We doing the second giveaway. Don't miss that. Join the Drip Mafia today. So I gotta say, bars, album, album dropping, um, 2023. But nah, man, listen, we lit all summer, man, listen. If y'all did not watch that video I posted a few days ago, my last video, it will be right there. Y'all go check that out, man, because that's some big news for the summertime, you know what I'm saying? Summer 2K19, that's some big news. That's an important video, so um, if you're watching this video right now and you haven't checked that video, but nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Regardless, regardless of the videos that I post this summer, I'm gonna still be lit. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just gotta watch it, man. Y'all gotta stay tuned. I'm not gonna spoil nothing for the first few videos um, after, you know what I'm saying, the video I just posted because I want y'all to go watch that. But y'all, this is a series on my channel called CJ Speaks where I only talk about God. If y'all seen my other videos, if you know me from our funny, entertaining videos, monkey app videos, public interview videos, hair videos. Y'all know me, you know what I'm saying? I like to stay lit, I like to have a good time, and I do verses in those videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm unashamed to say I believe in Jesus and to say I'm a follower of Christ. But this is a series on my channel, man, where I dedicate, you know what I'm saying, a topic to God, or that I've experienced, and I could, you know what I'm saying, share a little bit with you. So if y'all are interested in any of that stuff, man, y'all know what to do. Y'all already know what to do, man. But just in case you didn't know, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn that post notification bell so you never miss a video, man, because we lit, and we gonna hit this 1K, man, in God's time, man. But enough with the yapping and enough with the chat and merch coming soon. Not really, but that's kind of fire, you know what I'm saying? Enough with the yapping, enough with the chat, and that, that's, that, that's gonna be my new saying. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's gonna be one who's saying, set in stone, TM me. But without further ado, we, we gonna jump straight into this bitch. So y'all, today's topic is gonna be, man, this lighting is really bad. But today's title is, y'all can tell already, man. Cause y'all can read. I know we smart over here, man. Drip my head, we some smart people. What is blocking your blessings? You know what I'm saying? That, that's a real question right there. What is blocking your blessings? You have been in the same spot for how long? and you still haven't gotten the breakthrough, you still haven't gotten no type of blessings, you know what I'm saying? There's some reasons for that. And you know what I'm saying? We, we, gonna, we gonna explore a little bit today. There's two big reasons that block people's blessings from, you know what I'm saying, pouring out into their lives. One of them is fear, and the second one, it's, it's a cuss word, you know what I'm saying? So I gotta whisper it because my mama, you know what I'm saying? If she hear this, it's over. It's called pride. It's called pride. Mom? We good, you know what I'm saying? I think she's somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Do the same. <laughs> but now y'all listen, pride and fear is, you know what I'm saying, two big ones that can be blocking and cutting off your blessings that, you know what I'm saying, God can be pouring out into your life. Fear, y'all, let's talk about fear a little bit because fear, you know what I'm saying, that could definitely be blocking your blessing. If you question yourself or you question God with these few questions saying, but I'm only this, I only have this gift, I don't have that, I grew up in this area, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can name it, you know what I'm saying? It goes on. Listen, God doesn't care what you came from, what you have, what gift you think that you have or you don't have. He is looking for people who are willing to accept the calling that he has placed onto your life. God knows that you can't do certain things, you know what I'm saying? But he's calling you because he wants you to have that faith because he'll take that little bit of faith, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Elevate that thing. If you answer God's call for your life, if God is putting something on your heart, I'm talking to my, you know what I'm saying, fellow believers, fellow brothers and sisters, and people who aren't Christians, I'm so glad you watched this video because these are some things, these things I'll be saying in this video are important because, you know what I'm saying, these things are important for us as Christians to grow every day 
and to, you know what I'm saying, accept and to build and to grow and to even find out the purpose and calling that God has for our lives. And, you know what I'm saying, purpose, calling, that equals blessings, you know what I'm saying? And who don't want no blessings, man? Listen, y'all, y'all don't need any type of prerequisites to answer God's calling. You guys then need to do this and... Right, there's, there's a bug crawling right there. Kind of od that's a, that's a big bug but y'all don't need no prerequisites to, to answer the calling on your life man i know colleges you know what i'm saying may say that you need this and that to get into it but god you know what i'm saying god isn't a school he's not a universe god god doesn't need any prerequisites he doesn't need any exams no scores no letter grade no none of that god is just looking for people who are willing to accept the call in their life so he can elevate that and bless them because listen y'all you might as well have faith why not you might as well have faith that that what god is calling you to do what God's purpose, what God's plans, what God's blessings are for you, is gonna work. You might as well have faith about that. Because if you don't have faith, if you don't just trust and answer the call, you'll be in the same spot you're in right now, you know what I'm saying? That that whatever, you know what I'm saying, that little thing you have, that boring job you have, that that frustrating job you have, that, you know what I'm saying, small university, whatever, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying, fill in the blank for yourself, but you might as well have faith because you'll just be in the same spot you in right now. Y'all listen, wait for God no matter what the situation is. I know it may look rough, I know it may look tough. It may be days, it may be weeks, it may be days, it may be weeks, it may be months, you know what I'm saying, so, till you see something happen. But take hope because God is faithful to his promises. Ready y'all, Isaiah 30, 18, it says it right here. You might as well believe, you might as well have faith that he is working everything out for your good, that your blessings are on the way. Yet the Lord long, Isaiah 30, 18, yet the Lord longs to be gracious to you. Therefore, he will rise up to show you compassion. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all who wait for him. You will be blessed. Blessed are all those who wait for him. This title is about blessings. If you want God's blessings in your life, do not do it your way. I promise you that will not work. I'm only 18 years old. I'm not gonna hold you, but I've done things in my 18 years of life that have ended me up a lot of, you know what I'm saying, sorrow, sadness, because I didn't wait for God. And you know what I'm saying, the answer to my problems, the answer to my questions were, could have been the next day shoot. But I never got to experience that because I wanted to do it my way instead of waiting for God's way and waiting for him to bless me instead of trying to bless myself. How we gonna talk about the cuss for, you know what I'm saying, mama, where you at? She not here. Pride. <clears throat> Pride. I'm gonna say it with my chest. Pride. Y'all listen, pride is a killer. You know what I'm saying? Pride will, will kill will kill situations, relationships, kill opportunities. Your pride will cause you to fall. I'm just saying. What are you doing in your life right now that God wants to be a part of? What are you doing by yourself? What are you doing without God that he says, you know, I'm gonna use my name, CJ. What are you doing in your life right now that I wanna be a part of, that I wanna take the reins, I wanna take control, and I wanna do it my way so that you can have blessings not only for yourself, but you can use those blessings to bless others. See what I'm saying? Because if God's gonna bless you, he's gonna bless you so much that you have to bless other people too. Because God is closer to fixing your situation than you believe. Like I said, it may be that day, it may be that week, it may be that month, but wait for God's timing, man. Don't do it yourself, man. Don't be prideful. And wait for God and let him, you know what I'm saying, do the rest. Be patient, God is faithful. Let me pull up another verse because, you know what I'm saying, that's, that, that, that's, that's right now. Right now, for people who know me closely, um, faithful right now is the word that I have been describing God for the past few weeks, man, because God is faithful. When I mess up, he is faithful that he will forgive me. When I mess up, he's faithful that he will love me again. When I mess up, he's faithful that no matter what I do, he'll still bless me. That's faithfulness, man. Y'all, Lamentations 3.23 says, They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. God is faithfulness. God is mercies. His grace is new every single morning. Y'all, Roman 8.28 says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good. For those who are called according to his purpose. And listen, y'all, Deuteronomy 7.9 says, Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So y'all listen, I serve, a, I serve a God who is faithful, you know what I'm saying, to his promises and that everything will be okay. Because listen y'all, God's calling, what God has in store for you, his purpose, his blessings for you is much bigger than you. Listen y'all, don't let God skip over you for a temporary pleasures. Don't let flexing on Instagram, you know what I'm saying, flexing on any social media, you know what I'm saying, affect you from what God, you know what I'm saying, has in store for you. Because if you're looking for the world's, because if you're looking for the world's likes 
if you're looking for the world, you know what I'm saying, it's attention, you're not gonna be able to please God. You can't please the world and God. So don't let temporary pleasures, you know what I'm saying, you can fill in the blank, relationship, partying, you know what I'm saying, you fill in the blank for yourself, social media, you know what I'm saying, looking for, you know what I'm saying, clout on social media, you know what I'm saying, don't let that, that temporary stuff affect God's everlasting and, you know what I'm saying, forever, forever blessed. All this stuff sounds good. God wants to bless you tremendously. He wants to bless you. These two things are gonna kill it. But listen, there's a price. You can experience God's blessing. God wants to bless you. And, and trust me, I, I know that because he's blessed me. He's blessed people around me who love him. But there is a price you're gonna have to pay. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot. And I'm gonna save that for the next episode. You know what I'm saying? So if y'all if y'all like what y'all heard, if y'all are encouraged, if y'all are motivated, you know what I'm saying, to, to live here for Jesus, man. Give your give your life to Jesus, man. Or just experience these blessings, man, that I'm talking about. Tune into the next video because we're gonna we gonna be diving into that. <laughs> But y'all, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode of CJ Speaks. If you did, you know what I'm saying, smash that thumbs up button, big fact. Subscribe if you're new, join the Drip Mafia today on the road to 1K. 1K, we doing the second giveaway. Don't miss that. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a CJ Speaks video in your life or another video in your life. Yeah, follow me on all my social media. What should be in the description down below. Um, I go live on Instagram once a week just to pray for people. I don't do it for attention. Clout, this is who I am. I'm unashamed to, to say the name Jesus, to pray for people on social media when the whole world is looking, man. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. And I just pray for people just to encourage people to spread positivity and just spread the love of Jesus. And that's it. No attention. No, none of that. You have anyone who shared this video with me? Your mama, your dad, your cat, your dog, your brother, your sister, and your pet fish. God bless each and every one of y'all, man. And this has been your boy, CJ Got the Drip. And I'm out of here. Peace. Got a sweet life for real, no second Cody. So we got on one side, we shaking Kobe.